this video, we're going to talk about the fundamentals of an event setup. We will only be talking about the very basics. There are a lot of elements that need to come together in order to make an event happen. The basic setup includes staging, truss, lighting, set, and audio. The most common type of staging that we see every day is steel deck. It is the most robust form of stage, but unfortunately for us, the heaviest too. The first part of building a stage is to install the legs, which can come in various sizes. Once the leg is in place, tighten the bolts with a podger or an adjustable spanner. Always ensure the end cap is in the bottom of the leg. Depending on the size of the stage, you may need to join multiple pieces together. To join the decks together, use a 17mm nut and bolt, and yet again tighten it with a podger. Once all the bolts are tightened, as a crew, carefully and in a controlled manner, tip over the stage onto its legs and move into its final position. Guardrails come in two types. Open guardrails for cameramen or performers, or balustrade if the stage is intended for public use. For this example, we're going to use an open guardrail. To fix this guardrail in place, use a back plate. At this point, only finger tighten. Always ensure even spacing between the guardrails. The easiest way of roughly measuring this is to use the width of your fist between the rails. Once they are all evenly spaced, then tighten the back plate with a podger. Truss creates a strong and stable rigging support for stage, lighting, speakers, set or graphics, and screens to hang from. It comes in different ranges, including box truss, ladder, flats, and tri. Truss will usually be suspended off the ground using electric chain motors connected to roof structures that are able to support the weight. Truss comes in various lengths and sizes and can be joined together in a multitude of combinations. It is joined together using the standard egg and pin and fixed into place with an R-clip. You can see that the egg, the connector, has two holes that go all the way through it. One hole is larger than the other. You must always ensure that the pin goes through the larger hole first when securing the egg to the truss. You must hammer the pin using a plastic hammer or a rubber mallet, never a metal one, as you may eventually ruin the pin. As you can see, the R-clip secures the pin in place. Only push the R-clip halfway through. When connecting truss, you must always make sure the zigzag diagonals follow suit onto the connecting truss. This is to ensure the frame remains strong enough to hold the load. Lighting is an essential element for establishing the mood of an event, as well as providing illumination for displays and highlighting decorations. The main categories of lights include flood, fresnel, profiles, park -am, and moving lights. For this example, we're going to set up a moving light. This unit is called an R2 Wash. It is a powerful LED light with smooth color mixing and DMX control. This light comes with power con to 16 power cable, cam lock clamps, and a safety cable. The first step is to attach the clamps. Call to turn the cam locks to fix into place. Now to hang the lights on the truss. Hang the lights with the controls facing stage front. Attach the safety cable as a secondary measure in case the clamps fail. Next, connect the power con. Gently insert and rotate clockwise. Run the 16 amp end of the power con cable along the truss and tape into place. A Socapex cable run from the distro box will supply all the power for the lights on the truss. Attach a 16 amp fan out to the soccer cable so that you can connect the moving lights power cable to it. Yet again, ensure that the cable is securely taped to the truss. 
DMX data cables need to be run also, but this will be shown in another training video. Set is a very important part of an event. We use scenery flats, usually positioned behind or on the stage to create a themed backdrop. These can be either soft covered or hard covered with plywood. Sets can be made in various sizes depending on the design. Flats need to be screwed together. It is best to use a screw gun for this to speed along the process. Once the flats are all joined together, it is time to fit the braces, which will support the set once it's in an upright position. Yet again, screw into place. The next step is to lift the set into place. You should ensure that someone foots the set so that it doesn't slide across the floor. For the lift, make sure the panel joins are supported, lift together and in a controlled manner, lift upright. Once the set is in its final position, place stage weights onto the braces to counterbalance the structure. Audio plays an important role in every kind of event. The term audio includes speakers, digital audio systems, microphones, and processors. These all serve to amplify and distribute the sound to a live audience. For this example, we are only going to use the HK loudspeaker. The first step is to set up the tripod stand the speaker will sit on. Ensure that the legs give enough stability, then tighten and lock into position, then adjust the stand height to the required level. Now place the speaker onto the stand. Now to plug in the cables. Firstly, plug in the speaker on power cable and run out to the power source. Now for the data. Plug in the XLR cable and run to the data source or control desk. Always allow enough slack to allow the speaker to be moved. Tidy the cables and tape it to the stand 